Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here. I figured I'd do a little special here. We've got a lot of questions on the forum about how to get to Moho without blowing away a Delta V budget over 10,000. So I made a spaceship that has exactly 10,000 Delta V and I figured I would send it to Moho the way I like to get there, which is a little bit different than a lot of people like to get there and very different than a lot of online calculators will show you how to do. As you see, I've got a ship here in an 80 by 80 kilometer orbit around Kerbin, and it has exactly 10,000 delta V. Um, I'm doing this to, to show you how to get to uh, Moho with maybe not the least amount of delta V possible, but with um, not very much. <laughs> um, first of all, you notice that Moho's orbit, I'm, we're crossing Moho's orbit where it's inclined, uh, where it's, uh, what do you call it, ascending and descending nodes will, would be if there were any tools that showed us that. Um, so basically you can do this twice per every Kerbin year. And uh, it doesn't really matter which one you go on um, because they're both fairly uh, easy on the Delta V. And now I'm just setting up here a maneuver node, if it ever lets me click on it, uh, where you would normally do it to do a transfer. But notice I'm not setting it up in any particular place, and I'm not uh, I'm not trying to get the uh, delta V in any particular number, but I know it's right around 2,000 that you have to be. So I'm looking here, and I'm noticing that it, it connects with Moho's orbit fairly well. But I could do better, obviously, and I could also tilt it. Now, I first of all, I try to tilt up, and I realize that's wrong, so I tilt down. Because <laughs> when you leave Kerbin going down, you end up... Uh, you end up uh, going up out of you know on your orbit around the sun just the way crazy way orbital mechanics works. But the important thing is getting the ascending node and descending node correct, and it's at negative point seven. So then we fiddle with it a little bit more. Still negative point seven, so we fiddle with it a lot more, and that seems to be the best I can do. And our periapsis is pretty much touching uh, Moho's orbit, which is pretty much exactly what we want. And we can also fiddle when we get to the descending nodes down there if we really want to. The important thing is the bulk of the tra uh, transition is done out at Kerbin's orbit, where we've got all the bonuses of everything. So we crank up our engines. We turn our ship around so that we are facing our maneuver node. First, I set up a maneuver node alarm five minutes before, because I know this is going to be a pretty long burn, 2,300 meters per second doubling my orbital velocity around Kerbin. Okay, we're five minutes away. We do a test burn to see. Looks like I was a little bit overestimating my burn time of 10 minutes. So I decided to cut the engines and wait until we're four and a half minutes away before starting the main 10 minute burn. And away we go. You'll notice I'm a little bit afraid of overheating the engines, so I've got them down to about 99%. <laughs> And here we are, we're done. We have our encounter. We have our ascending and descending nodes. And notice this encounter is not with Moho itself, it's just with Moho's orbit. That is by design. We're gonna add a maneuver here though, that will hopefully get us an actual encounter with Moho. Now you see as I bring this down, we can see that we don't actually have a good encounter with the planet. So I decided to take another trip around and on the way, add a maneuver node to fix my descending node. Now we're at perfect alignment with Moho. Now I do some fiddling with maneuver nodes to try to get an encounter. And I got one. It's not the best encounter in the world, but you know what? Sometimes you just want to take what you can get. So then we perform the burn. It's a much smaller burn than we did before. But now we have a Moho encounter. And we fiddle with that Moho encounter to get our periapsis at around the target of 8,000 kilometers. I'm sorry, 8,000 meters. <laughs> and I even plan a uh, second encounter just to see what it would cost and, and, and just to realize that I'm, I'm good to go as far as Delta V is concerned. So I had an alarm for the first node, fast forward myself there, and perform the tiny, tiny correction burn. As always, our maneuver doesn't actually get us where we wanted to be. 
So we re-add the maneuver node that we had put placed before. This maneuver, just to get us into Moho orbit, is going to cost us a little bit less than 2,000 delta V. It's time to burn. Burn is simple and short, a lot shorter than I actually thought it was going to be. So I remake my maneuver node and just perform it when you would expect. And here we are, doing our final burn to get our apoapsis and periapsis right around 80,000 kilometers, 80,000 kilometers, right around 80,000 meters, which is the orbit that we started around in Kerbin. And we still have almost half the fuel in our tank. We ended up spending uh, 5,678 delta V, getting all the way there and getting a nice orbit. If we had a lander, we could send it down, take some readings, bring it back up, and send our guys home. We have plenty of delta V to do all that. I'm Fifth Horseman. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I will, as always, talk at you later.